Hello, Demo from quittersnextdoor.com here. This video will give you different ways to record your quitter audio and it especially helps you to compare how these different methods and ways sound to you. All these are very beginner friendly and most of these are also free. And after watching this video you can pick the best method for you. So let's get going. <laughs> First method is just to start recording with your phone without doing nothing else. Second is to move your guitar amp close to your phone and that should inform your audio quality. Third way is to use two phones, one for recording the audio closer from your amp and other phone for recording your video. Fourth way is to plug a lavalier mic into your phone and move the mic closer to your amp. I used a lavalier mic like this for doing so and I think that this costs about 10 bucks. And the fourth and final method is to, to use a, a USB mic and I included this here because I want some kind of good comparison point where we can compare these other methods to recording with this. This is a Samsung C01U Pro condenser mic and it's a pretty good mic and it costs about maybe 70 or 8 bucks, I think so. I used Audacity to record with this Samsung mic and for the separate audio and video files in case of recording with two phones or recording with phone and this Samsung mic, I used DaVinci Resolve video editor to connect and synchronize these separate files together. If you want to know how to use Audacity or DaVinci Resolve to craft your own good videos, leave a comment down below so that I will know that I should make these tutorials in the future. I recorded dirty and cleaner sections with my electric scooter and let's first hear how the dirty riffs sound like. So these were the dirty tones and I think that you could really hear the difference between these different ways of recording your quitter audio. But before we talk more about my opinions about this, let's first hear how the cleaner tones sound like with these different methods. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was it. In my opinion, the best one was the Samsung condenser mic. And it's the one of the best affordable condenser mics out there, condenser USB mics. But there is one really important feature missing from it. You can look this one into your camera and start recording. You have to use the computer to record with this mic. So that's that's been the con and you should keep that in mind if you are going to buy a conversion mic for yourself. After that, I think that the using two phones was the second best way to record your cutter audio. And most people have two phones laying around. Maybe you can borrow one from your family members or from your friend or maybe you have your old phone laying around and you can still record audio with it. So it's definitely a better way than just using one phone to record your audio. But if you only have one phone, I think that the best way to record with it, it is to move your amp really close to your phone. And that also ensures that you don't have to do any synchronizations between two files, audio and video files, so that it's also easier way to record your audio and video. And using lavalier mic, it's it's okay, but it's not great. I think that the sound from it is kind of boxed, and you are going to achieve a better end result with moving up closer to your phone. But yeah, I don't re recommend it. And but even the lavalier mic is better way than just filming with your phone without doing anything else. The, the lazy way, and it's also the worst worst one. But I think that one key point from this video is this: you don't really have any excuse to not record your quit and playing and not record and publish your music on YouTube or or anywhere else. You can do it with good enough quality, even for free. You can start doing it with free methods and then if you think that you like it and you want to do it more in the future, then you can maybe invest in more expensive stuff, maybe the USB mic or audio interface. So let me know in the comments what was the best in your opinion, what is the order. And if you're going to publish your own stuff in YouTube, so let me know in the comments that one too. I would love to check your music and playing out. If you have any requests for future videos, let me know that too in the comments. I'm probably going to put with a couple more videos in the upcoming weeks. One about recording your acoustic color audio different ways to do that. And then a comparison video between recording your guitar audio with Android phone and iPhone. So subscribe so that you don't miss out anything. And also go and check out my website, kudarisnextdoor.com. There is uh, lots of guitar reviews, guitar amp reviews, cable reviews, all sorts of cool stuff and helpful stuff for guitar players. And that was it. So I hope that you are doing well, I wish you all the best, and I see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.